Alright guys, and welcome back. We are back with another episode of Sunday Night Game Night, which is Control Episode 4. And in the last episode, we did a ton... We, we did. We did a ton of stuff and had a lot of fun. We actually had our very first boss fight as well. And now, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be heading to Central Executive because we have to talk to Emily. I think at the end of last episode, what we did was we figured out and talked on the phone... That was in in the mail room. Uh, again, if you guys missed that episode, I'll leave that link down below in the playlist in the description. But now we need to go and talk to Emily about what is next for us within the game. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this game. This game's been a lot of fun. And I don't know how long this game is, in all honesty. I just, I'm kind of, just kind of guessing how long this game is. But um, it's been pretty fun for the most part. Actually, it's been fun the entire time. I don't think there's ever been a bored moment. But now we need to go talk to Emily, which... It's definitely not that way. It's in here. And we'll, you know, I think we'll jump into a cutscene here. So. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well and all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you i mean i would love to run some tests on you if you agree that is we could find out something that would help us tests i don't know she might find out about you but i wouldn't mind understanding more myself okay if you think it will help great I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. What the frick, man? That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. That is freaky. Okay, anyways, we have ourselves another energy boost thing that we've already had quite a bit of. Okay, not that big of a deal, but we also have some new missions, which is directional override. Search for a way into the maintenance sector. The internal lockdown, an emergency security measure is stopping Jesse from looking from four trench... Trench is missing management team in the other sectors. Jesse sent Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector to find the directional override and lift the internal lockdown. 
We also have some more multimedia, which, oh yeah, we're going to look at these in the next episode. That's right. So let's go ahead and take a look at, um, I think we should just take a look at the, un the one unread one that we have here. So let's take a look at it. Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered, and the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well, our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified. Okay, very interesting. I apologize for hitting my mic stand there. We also have a new hotline thing, board countermeasures. Ooh, so this is the stuff I was going to look at at the end of last episode. So we have board countermeasures. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Jesse. I think we have more quotes that we can talk about with. Hi, Jesse. All right, so there's there's no new options. Okay. Thanks, Emily. All right, I'm sure cool. I'll have more questions soon. So let's go ahead Just and continue on with the um, game. Can you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Um. Okay. So we have to go to Central Executive, okay. Um, wait. Oh. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Elevator. Alright, so it's something in Central Executive, the elevator that we have to go to. Um, is it over... It might be over this way? I think. Mm, definitely not that way. Mm, not over there. Oh, here it is. Alright. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Is he a friendly face? I hope you guys can hear that swallowing. That'd be really, really embarrassing if you could hear me swallowing a drink in the microphone, but hopefully not. Hopefully I'm far enough away to where that won't be a problem. But uh, yeah, this game is really, really interesting. I'm not going to lie. I have really, really enjoyed it. But I am kind of suspicious about this janitor character. He seems, he seems relatively normal in from the encounters that we've had. But like, why is a janitor an important character in the game? Like, is there something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about quite yet? I kind of have a feeling. Kind of have a feeling. But guess we will see. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here. He can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati Pause. guiding me too? Maybe. Maybe so. Alright. Well, I guess we just make our way through this area. I'm sure there'll be some hits we have to fight. Or maybe not. I don't know. Can we go that way? Normally red means we can't go that way. Maybe we can. I don't know. Yeah, we can. Okay. 
Ooh, wow, we're in a whole new area. Holy moly, this place looks crazy. All right. So ventilation, janitor's office, both this way. So we have to go this way. Wow, that's pretty self-explanatory. Who would have thought? override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? Oh, gosh. I don't know how I feel about all those guys over there. Ooh, janitor's office is up here. Beautiful. There we go. <laughs> I love that ability so much. Favorite part about this entire game is that ability. Nice try. Oh, get wrecked, my guy. Get wrecked. Yes. Have a new checkpoint. Beautiful. All right. There we go. Nice. That should open up a whole lot more for us. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I guess we go to our right over here, over this way. And see what's in store for us over this way. This ability is freaking amazing. I love it. Where are we getting shot at? Oh. Whoops, that was a fail. There we go. Got him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hold on a second. Um, man, I forgot. Like, how do how do I forget so much about this game in literally a week of playing it? Like, how, like what am I doing? There we go. I don't know why I always forget. Okay, what is this? Concept material, ritual, impulse, maintenance. Hmm. I wonder what that is used for. Prop. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? What the frick? There we go. There's another guy over there. He's one shot. Nice. Okay. Now, where do we go? What's in here? Just this thing? I need another ritual impulse. I have no idea what the material in this game is used for. Not a clue, but cool. Okay, we're supposed to go that way, but let's 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 explore around this area a little bit. See if we can find any other interesting stuff. So that we already went that way. I think we went through this way already. Okay, we can't. There's nothing here. Uh, we can't go in there. That's off limits. Mm, I think that's all we can find. Now, was there. I think there was another way in here. Okay, that just brings us downstairs, essentially, but. Okay, yeah, that just that just brought us downstairs. Okay, cool. So we kind of kind of have erased all all avenues, so we can go ahead and head towards the janitor's office, which I think is this way. Yes, it is. Okay. What's down that way? I don't know. A new mission: a merry chase. Hold to activate. Sure. Yeah, why not? Let's do this mission. We can we can. Go away from the story for a little bit. I don't think that's a bad thing. Whoa. Oh, no way. We found a new object of power area. That's sweet. Oh, this place makes me nauseous. Oh, I can I can relate. 
Makes me a little nauseous too. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? <laughs> Press circle to evade. Use evade to complete the astral plane challenge, okay? Yo! This is sweet! Oh, no way! Oh! This is sick! Uh oh! Oh! Nice. I think we... Right, hold on. Oh, crap. I'm failing. We got this. Hold on. There we... What? Okay, why does it keep failing? I don't know why I kept failing. But it's all good. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. What? Dang it, I failed all the way this time. Okay, game. Game, knock it off. <laughs> knock it off, game. Okay, why am I... Why does it keep glitching out? <laughs> Alright, hold on. What's going on, man? I don't know why it's so weird. Why it's so finicky. Okay. No! Crap, not again. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Oh, come on, man. I don't know why it's so finicky. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Alright, well, why does that matter? Okay, I guess we just skip through that. Oh. What? Well, no, no, no. Woo! Okay, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Nice! Well, we did it. Even though it was confusing, we did it. Let's see the hiss keep up with me now. Very, very cool. Um. Beautiful. Now we actually get to use it. We don't have to worry about things being weird. Um. I can't. E I can't even see that well. <laughs> there we go. No. Wow. Really? That was a fail. All right, I'll see you guys in two seconds because I want to edit out the, not not edit out the fails, but just edit out the loading screen. All right, do we still have our ability? Yeah, we do. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and read. Okay, stop. What? What? Oh my gosh, I always push the wrong button. I swear. No, I pushed the wrong button again. I apologize. I haven't played this game in a week, and I don't know why I keep messing up my buttons. So, okay, assets, threshold, remnant. Concept material, okay. Missions, okay, we're back to that one. And then case files. Merry-go-round horse. Merry-go-round horse, OOP16-KE, containment procedure. Object should be kept in a confined space when unbound. 
Description slash para-utility. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be dangerous when blank its path. The object is currently bounded by blank, the background. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local blank reported that rides would move on their own and that and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the bureau, agents were dispatched to investigate. These th three local blank were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent blank by blank. Agents invoked Formula C.5 to blank the object long enough to blank. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay. Alrighty, well, let's continue on with this mission. We may have to sprint through here because we freaking screwed up. Actually, no, it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Janitor's office is this way. I'm really happy that we decided to do that mission because... Do you have to really do this all over again? Can we sprint through here? Can we just, like, ignore the bad guys? Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, we can't go that way. Wait, was there something over here? Yeah, there was. Gotta have a keen eye. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, son. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, uh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus, I'm perfectly sure that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a power plant, particularly. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed. Before the plant blows up, and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. Can do later when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. All right. I still have no idea if I can trust this guy or not, but I'm thinking I can. We'll see, though. What a mess. Burn the trash. Should we just do that one? Sure. Why not? Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn the trash around the furnace. Okay. I think it's this way. Okay, 
so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. All right, there's trench again. Keep the lights on. Now, hold on. Let's check the map really quick. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back. Are we supposed to go this way? Because the furnace. I don't think the furnace is that way. Ooh, dodge efficiency. Okay. I don't think we're going to use that one either. The headshot one is just too freaking good. Okay, maintenance furnace chamber. Where would that be though? It doesn't say. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just we'll just go this way. And if we complete a main story mission, we complete a main story mission. But I'm pretty sure both of these missions will take us to the same area, so I think it's all good. But I guess we'll see. Okay. I'm thinking there should be a furnace around here somewhere. If we are indeed in the right spot. Ooh, NSC power plant. Okay. Cool. It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. Okay. Ma'am. Hey. Chief Arish. FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Right, let's talk to this guy. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and... My crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know we'll be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Can we ask this guy questions? When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Cool, we can. Um, should we go through this? Yeah, I guess we'll just yeah we'll go through this. Let's go start with off with the hiss. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? Alright, Arish. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? 
I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. All right, NS NSC power plant. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. All right, service weapon. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. The thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. And finally, Ati. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> Of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. You can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? All right, that is everything that we can talk about with him at the moment. So let's go ahead and continue on here now. I think I'm going to skip the trash mission for now. I really don't see the point in doing it. Obviously, we got a cool reward for the last mission, but I didn't really see a I don't really see a point in this one, especially well, mostly because I can't even find what this mission is. Let's go ahead and head over to our missions and select this one. We have a new hotline. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. North Moor was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moor was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Hmm. Okay. So it talks about the older... The director before Trench. Very, very interesting. Alright, what do we have in here? Shatter recoil efficiency weapon mod. This sounds interesting. Let's see what this is. Uh, da, 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 da. recoil minus six percent, not too needed. Damage boost. Hmm. Man, I don't know. Let's let's give it a try. But that headshot one is just something else. But all right, let's go ahead and read this. Our right, rich security matters. Open collectibles. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is talking about. Ati, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his old habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the found foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on his next step. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Okay. Perfect. More stuff to read. I'll get, you'll love to see it. All right, so let's see where we need to go. So we need to go 
to the elevator and then we need to go around this way as well so let's go ahead and do that whoa let's get this control point first that's going to be coming handy for sure um and we're about at 30 something minutes so i think we will maybe do one of these uh cooling pumps perfect so we'll go ahead and go over here and for the cooling pumps first i think it's this way yep it is this way What the frick? What are those things? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I took a lot of damage from that guy exploding. Alright, his charged. Okay. What what weapon mod did we get? Plus 16 to rate of fire. Mm, don't really need that one. But let's see what, what we just fought was, because those were weird things. Okay, his charged. Summary, the His Charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from His Corruption. His Charged display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused His resonance so dense that it acts as a physical force. The His Charged is depleted of the His Corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. This behavior has may, may have may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to resonance. Is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physio physiology of the hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to file blank for full report. Those guys were definitely a very very weird enemy to fight. They were like. They kind of reminded me of Dementors from Harry Potter, which is weird, I know, but, you know, made a lot of sense to me. Oh, cool, furnace chamber. So we're kind of doing our thing here. Uh, NSC cooling pumps, okay. So they're all the same direction. Understandable. Power cut, replace the parts. Hmm. Okay, let's let's take a look around. Well, I guess we could go this way always. I don't think this will bring us anywhere, but and it didn't. But we have ourselves a new personal mod, health recovery. What's our current one? Health recovery per element pickup. Hmm. We already have a better one. All right. Well, we found really good ones earlier in the game, so. Oh, I get it. There you go. So when it comes to this playthrough, I'll try and look at a guide as little as possible. But if we get really, really, really stuck, then... Then I will look at a guide, but for the most part, we're going to try and do this as authentic as possible. There we go. Oh crap, not more of these guys. You have to be really, really careful that they explode. Oh yeah, right, I forgot about that. these guys. We have to... You have to shoot them because they can easily avoid the air attacks. Cool. We have a new control point now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, let's see what happens with this room now. We might be able to do those next missions in the next episode, but I think we're going to go ahead and end the next episode of this right now. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed...
All right, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Sunday Night Game Night, also known as Control Episode 4. I had a lot of fun today, and we actually made our way through this quite a bit. So there's the furnace chamber, and there is where we need to go for the next episode as well. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like rating is always appreciated. If you want to check out any of my other previous videos from this series, I will leave them linked down below in the place in the description. As well as my previous video will be at the end of the video as well. And I'll see you guys all on another episode of Control next week. So I will see you guys very, very soon.